Hello everyone and welcome to a new advanced conversation. Today's conversation revolves around the phrase ill at ease. This phrase means that somebody is not comfortable. This person is nervous. This person is feeling uh, worried or embarrassed. Um, for example, people who give public speeches people who need to appear on stage always feel ill at ease both before they appear on stage and after and during the performance that feeling of nervousness that feeling of uh, worry uh, again uh, some people also feel uh, ill at ease during job interviews when they are trying to get a job and to uh, at work the first day at work another case when people feel uh, ill at ease is during exams before exams and even after waiting for exam results or these cases make us feel ill at ease let's come to the conversation David this day is a big day for me I've been assigned to give a speech on behalf of our company in front of the minister Michael, I bet you are ill at ease already, aren't you? David, no, not at all. I've been used to giving talks since university days. For me, it's a breeze. I've never messed up when it comes to speaking in public. Michael, lucky you, I would think twice before I could take on such a tough ta task. David, you know what? I truly bank on this up great opportunity to get a promotion. Michael, well, it's, it's worth giving it your best shot. All the best. Vocabulary. Assign to. To designate someone as responsible for doing something. On behalf on, of. As a representative of or a proxy for. Ill at ease. Adjective. Uncomfortable or embarrassed. Be used to doing something, to be familiar with a condition or activity, a breeze, a thing that is easy to do or accomplish, mess up, to do something badly, misbehave, a situation, think twice, consider a course of action carefully before embarking on it, bank on, to rely on, confidently, give it one's best shot. To do best, the best that one can. Thank you so much for watching and see you in another advanced conversation.